Symmetry and tessellation, grade E GCSE. Okay, um, technically line symmetry is only re and, and rotational symmetry is only grade um, F even, but um, this is quite again quite late on the exam paper, so I think they're they're making it slightly more complicated than just a basic question. Uh, one of the patterns is exactly one line symmetry. Write down the letter of this pattern. So if we look at these patterns, well, this one has one, two, three, four lines. This one has um, no lines of symmetry. And this one has just the one line of symmetry going down the middle that way. So that's pattern A with one line of symmetry. Write down the order of rotational symmetry on pattern C. So um, when we spin this pattern around the middle, how many times does it fit on top of itself? Well, um, quite tricky to see this, but if we go 180, if we take this point and spin it around until it's down here, you should realize that um, it's on the same position. And then back again to the top, so it has two points at which it's on top of itself in 360 degrees, so that's order two rotational symmetry. Diagram on the grid shows a tile in the shape of a hexagon. On the grid, show how the tile will tessellate. You must draw at least six. Um, quite an easy tessellation. You're just um, making sure there are no gaps. That's all you've got to do with tessellation. And also, you've got to make sure that you um, have at least one place where you are going all the way around to show there are no gaps. Um, but it does tell you that you've got to draw at least six tiles so as long as you filled out the grid you don't need to do any more than six um, and obviously you would draw them a lot better than this there we go that's plenty enough to show it tessellates um, if you're thinking about this where there's a gap here that doesn't mean it doesn't tessellate because if there, if this was infinitely big this this triangular paper you can keep putting your hexagons on that's the point there's no gaps between the ones that are put together like these so there's two marks there. Um, I'm guessing you'll get one mark for putting six hexagons on the grid and maybe it won't necessarily show the tessellation. But as long as you've got at least six and they're at least covered one, one, pet, one set, go around one point completely, you'll get the two marks.